Okay. Hey, everybody. Dan Fitzpatrick here, stockmarketmentor.com. Just a real quick um, video today on uh, Meta. And that is because you see these other, uh, you know, all the, all the mega cap stocks that have been pulling the market up so high, uh, like Apple. And I, I have a lot more to say in our premium video, guys, uh, other than this. But um, you see Apple trading down, uh, Microsoft not able to catch the 50. My sense is this is probably the way the price is going to go so far for the last couple of days. I've been right about that. Um, Google or Alphabet, as they're now called, is doing okay. Uh, this could actually move uh, move higher. Uh, this is one of those stocks that uh, that people are, have been saying, like, it's the mega caps. They're the ones that are pulling the market higher. And they have been. There's no question about it. Um, and we got Netflix, who has done really well. It broke out and peaked up here and then has since just been consolidating. Um, but generally speaking, I think people are looking at, at some of these stocks and saying, well, everybody's getting out of the mega caps and into something else. And I beg to differ. I think some of it, for sure, I would ditch this in a heartbeat. Now, you could hang on to it. And then a year from now, you could say Dan was wrong, but I'm actually more concerned about next month or next quarter. Um, so I would ditch this. Um, I would actually ditch Microsoft um, because it's not able to get above the 50 or at least at least sell some of the position. But what I would not do is be ditching NVIDIA, even though it's drifting sideways. The volume has generally been lower than average. We got one big sell day here last Wednesday, but it's been doing OK. And they report earnings in a couple of weeks. But the one that really looks the best to me is Meta. It just continues to trickle right along the 20-day moving average, this little blue line here. And so the time to be buying this stock is on these little pullbacks. It's not really on the breakouts. I mean, yes, the breakouts have worked. Like you could say, well, this one worked. You know, you buy the stock there, fine. And it went up 6.5% over... Uh, like a like a week, something like that. But generally speaking, oh, and then by the way, it came back down. But the time to be buying the stock is when it comes back here to the 20 and the eight day exponential moving average, which is where it is right now. So if you're buying Meta, you're late. There's no question about it. But are you too late? I think you got to let the stock tell you that. And the way to do that is to track it along this 20-day moving average, track it here, and track it along the eight-day moving average. These two, the price needs to hold within this area. Doesn't have to hold above the eight-day moving average exactly, but it really needs to not be going down much below the 20-day moving average unless it recovers right away. So I know that's kind of a mouthful or an earful, but the point is, this is a nice little pullback. This could give you an entry here. But again, it's a late entry. And this would be more, to my view anyway, a sign to not sell the stock like you would be with Microsoft or Apple. So um, that's all I got for you today. By the way, uh, we are, we're actually having to, I'm talking about the crypto uh, course that, that Scott is going to be um, teaching um, in a couple weeks here. Uh, we're going to be doing that on August 23rd. That's a little over two weeks from now. We're actually having to bump up our room capacity on Zoom because uh, we we have so many, we, we got so many people coming. It's still a couple weeks away. So watch your email. I don't have the sign up here in front of me. Uh, it's not really my my intention right now to be quote marketing that course, but I will just tell you that this is a webinar that you want to be at. Mark, excuse me, um, Scott is a real expert at this stuff. We've talked about it quite a bit. I'm going to be there hosting this session and asking Scott a lot of questions and you get to ask him too. It should be a real fun time and it's really important if you're interested in crypto at all. You need to be here because it's not just 
focused on some crap coin. I mean, this is really how the crypto market really works. Uh, there's a reason why it's called network intelligence. So I will see you there. Watch your emails. I know we're sending them out um, from time to time. So check those out. You better show up. If you don't show up, I'm going to be pissed at you. Okay. All right. See you guys later.